responsible for the implementation of Letters from the Future 211. We were in a governmental meeting and we decided at that point that it was too late to send uh, messages or to try to help the people with the year 2111 because by that time it had already been reached. So we just had to set about trying to discover the technology so that we could send these messages back through time and hopefully change the minds and opinions of people from the past. This recording is made exclusively for Beth Barlow. If you are watching, we have succeeded in placing it in a red bag after your return from holiday. There are a few who don't believe in global warming and go around in the old There are a few who don't We apologise for any decay in the quality of this film. This may be due to faults as it travels. The population of 211 was on the brink of extinction, and all this was due to the effects of global warming. Just, just, uh, kind of the average people live and we think their lives are more stressful or worrying than us because they want things that they really can't have anymore but we just made a decision not to want those things and so maybe we're more contented than they are. By the year 2070 some people have decided to live alternative lifestyles but unfortunately it was just too little too late. <laughs> Big houses in London near the skyscrapers. Every Friday we have fish and chips. Don't take things for granted. 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 Now I'm not really allowed to go to the city. I stay in the country. We have just moved into our new house under the ground, but I don't know why. I think it's because of all the pollution and gas. We learn about politics and stuff. We only learn about the politics that they want us to learn about. Yeah. My specific role has been that I, I was in charge of PR, I was in charge of basically just trying to get the message out really of how, of how desperate the situation was, propaganda and so on, that kind of thing really. Now we're just bottom of the pack, like we feel so poor and we can't buy anything and we can't, we're on rations for food. I think it's it's a strange time for us because in a lot of ways in those days you were more advanced than we were but then you made some strange decisions and um, I just think maybe you could have done things a bit differently then and it wouldn't have turned out like this now. The tipping point is the point of no return. This is when the climate begins to change and the effects on the planet is irreversible. So the irreversible. So the irreversible. So the people you have seen in the film are your descendants. They are part of a Letters from the Future project, a project endeavouring to send back their lives through time. I speak from the year 2111, from the last remaining land. We are relying on you and others like you to make the right choices and help us save our future. Was the project a success? No because people didn't take the project seriously. The irreversible. The irreversible. The irreversible. The irreversible.